Now, herbs that can help with H. pylori. Number one, mastic gum. Mastic gum. M-A-S-T-I-C, gum, G-U-M, mastic gum. Mastic gum has these tri, what is it, triparatic, triparatic acid. I've got to remember the acid. But mastic gum has a, I think, triparatic acid or something like that. That's extremely effective for dealing with H. pylori, okay? Mastic gum. Extremely effective for dealing with H. pylori. Now, why is mastic gum really, really uh, effective? Mastic is triter, yeah, triterpenic, triterpenic acids. These acids help kill H. pylori bacteria. These acids help kill H. pylori bacteria. And it can work as low as 500 milligrams. Now, if you are taking mastic gum and you want to get the best effects from mastic gum, take 1,000 milligrams twice a day. That's 2,000 milligrams a day. Take 1,000 milligrams twice a day. Mastic gum is possibly the best supplement that you can take at this present time we know of naturally that can help deal with H. pylori bacteria. Now, while you're doing this, you're still doing this in combination with the probiotics I, I expressed, I talked about earlier. But mastic gum, M-A-S-T-I-C, gum, G-U-M, is the number one product for dealing with H. pylori infections. Number two is Manuka honey. That's right, taking a spoonful of Manuka honey every day can help you with H. pylori infections. Not only is Manuka honey anti-inflammatory, and if you know you're dealing with uh, H. pylori infections, you have a great chance of having an ulcer. You have a great chance of having gastritis. You have a great chance of having... Uh, um, um, uh, heart, I mean, uh, heartburn and things like that. Well, Manuka honey is anti-inflammatory. Manuka honey will cool your gastrointestinal tract. It will reduce the inflammation. And Manuka honey is antimicrobial. It kills bacteria. And it can kill H. pylori. Manuka honey can kill H. pylori, even though H. pylori shields itself as good as you can as a bacteria. Manuka honey, mastic gum, can help kill those bacteria. So taking a spoonful of manuka honey every day would assist. I would try to look at 400 MCGs, every MCOs every day. At least 400, 400 part, I mean 400 plus MCOs every day. That's the strong, the strength of the manuka honey. You could get it higher, but at least 400. You could get 250 that weeks or 260 that even help. 250 that even help. Manuka honey, great herb, licorice root, great herb, licorice root. Now. Why licorice root? Licorice root has an acid in there called uh, DG on the diglycinate, diglycerides, or something like that. Diglycinate. I gotta remember the name. It starts with a D. Diglycerate. Yeah. DGL. What is it? DGL is diglycerate licorice extract. So diglycerides. So it has an acid in there. Oh man, I can't. I, I, I drew a blank right there. I shouldn't have took that water. <laughs> Let me look at what I'm doing there. But DGL or licorice, licorice root is extremely effective for dealing with acid, I mean, uh, H. pylori infections. Hold on, let me just look this up for y'all real fast. Why is it not allowing me to tap, type? I, I want to make sure I'm, I'm right before I say, I'm, I say the wrong thing. What is DGL? Oh, it doesn't even tell me. 
Diglycerate, yeah, diglyceride, like glyceride, licorice. Yeah, diglyceride, licorice, yeah. So I just, sorry, I just wanted to make sure I was correct. Um, so licorice root is extremely effective for dealing with uh, H. pylori. It, kill, it can help deactivate and kill H. pylori in large amounts. So you always want to use DGL because licorice itself can raise your blood pressure. Okay? So licorice itself can raise your blood pressure. So do DGL, diglycerated licorice root. This is extremely effective for dealing with H. pylori. Fourth thing, broccoli sprouts. Broccoli sprouts. Now, broccoli itself is extremely effective. Broccoli sprouts are even better. Broccoli sprouts have a lot of sulfate, sulfurphane in there. Sulfurphane can kill H. pylori. Sulfurphane can kill H. pylori. And broccoli sprouts have a huge amount because you need large amounts of it. So broccoli sprouts are really good. Green tea helps deactivate uh, uh, um, H. pylori. Green tea helps kill off H. pylori. Okay? So green tea, drinking green tea every day is very effective for dealing with H. pylori. Garlic. Garlic. Now, somebody asked me, me and Latoya was talking earlier, and we was talking about Garlic, I was saying I may have a, a little sore throat and everything. I got a little sore throat, and I've been using garlic, and it's been clearing up. That and philodendron I've been using. Um, but garlic in itself can help kill H. pylori. And why is that? Garlic is a sulfur-rich plant. The same way broccoli spouts is, garlic had, does not have sulfur thing, but it also has sulfur molecules involved in that. And these sulfur molecules that's inside of garlic helps kill H. pylori, as well as it also has allicin, a sulfur-based molecule that acts like a natural antibiotic that kills H. pylori. You want to do anywhere between 3 to 6 grams of garlic a day to be effective to kill H. pylori. The same thing with licorice root. You want to do about 3 grams of licorice root every day to be effective for killing H. pylori. Okay? We talked about Manuka honey. Let's talk about bees propolis. Bees propolis. Bees are amazing. They give us a few beautiful things. Bees give us honey. Bees give the, bee, the, the queen bee royal jelly. Bees give us bee pollen. And bees also give us something called propolis. Okay? Propolis is a coating in the inside of the honeycomb. Inside of the beehive, they have honeycomb. They have a coating inside this, uh, this, 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 uh, inside their beehive called propolis. What is propolis used for? Propolis is a natural antimicrobial that protects the bees inside their home. Propolis kills bacteria, propolis kills viruses, propolis keeps out fungi. So the house that the bee built is protecting its young, its queen, and all the other bees inside it by secreting bees' propolis as it makes it hive. It's hive. Bee propolis, when you consume it, can also kill H. pylori bacteria can also kill H. pylori bacteria. B. propolis. It's a really strong antimicrobial. Black seed. The thymoquinone in black seed oil has been shown to be effective against uh, uh, H. pylori. But it really only works at its best. They found in research it works at its best at two grams a day, not one gram, not three grams, two dams, grams a day with a proton pump inhibitor. So the thymoquinone needs the acid to be lower, reduced acid in the stomach to allow the black seed to have an effect on the H. pylori. 
even when you take the antibiotics, they want you to take a proton pump inhibitor because the antibiotics don't work as effectively without a reduction of the acid in the stomach. So you need a proton pump inhibitor when you're taking antibiotics for acid reflux, I mean for H. pylori. Well, black seed also needs a proton pump inhibitor. The other herbs do not. Black seed works better when you're doing it with an antacid, if you want to say, or a proton pump inhibitor at 2 grams a day. And last but not least, it's bismuth. Bismuth. What you what, after what is what's bismuth? What is bismuth? Okay, what is, I don't know what that is. What what does that mean? What is bismuth? Bismuth is a mineral. Bismuth has been shown to deal with stomach problems. Specifically, it helps deal with H. pylori. You may have to find that in a trace mineral. Now you say, I do. How in the heck? How in the heck are we gonna get that? Find a good trace mineral combination. You will find it in there. It also helps. You know how powerful bismuth is for when it comes down to dealing with stomach problems? You take it if you have that all I mean if you take it if you have diarrhea and nausea what's it? Diarrhea, nausea, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. It's called Pepto Bismol. Why do you think they call it Pepto Bismol? It has a a a mineral in it called bismuth that is a salt that helps deal with stomach issues. Did I just teach you something? Did I just teach you something? Bismuth is a mineral found in Pepto-Bismol. It's a natural trace mineral <coughs> that you find in Pepto-Bismol that deals with stomach complaints and has been shown to help deal with the symptoms caused from H. pylori. Now, I'm not sitting here telling you to go drink Pepto-Bismol. I'm sitting here telling you to go find a good trace mineral that has bismol in it or bismuth in it. B-I-S-M-U-T-H. This is a mineral that's extremely effective for dealing with H. pylori. Could you imagine taking that along with mastic gum and the effects you will get? Or taking that with mastic gum and manuka honey and getting rid of your problems while you're taking your H, while you're taking your lactobacilli, rhamnosis? You take your lactobacilli, ruti, what is it, ruteria, 